Hey guys, Matt here. Check out this crazy egg I got the other day. You will not believe this one. Oh my gosh, yep. That's right, I'm having a mother freaking baby. My long suffering wife is now six months pregnant, so that means that in three months, I'm gonna be a father, Jesus H. Christ. So yeah, that egg analogy maybe doesn't really work because I guess nothing actually gets hatched until the baby's born. And it's not like you can hatch an unborn child or Pokemon or something. But anyway, I'm going to be a dad and it's got me thinking that all this time, Pokemon Go has been preparing me for what lies ahead. So I wanted to make this video to document a few thoughts because my wife tends to think that Pokemon Go is a complete waste of my time. But I'm telling you, and I've been telling her, Pokemon Go has given me a fresh perspective on this whole parenthood thing. Firstly, I'm of the frame of mind that if I can walk with purpose to hatch a string of 10 kilometer eggs, I can deal with this whole nine month pregnancy thing. It's practically the same thing, except my wife is going to hatch a human being and all I seem to hatch is freaking pine crows. Then there's the fact that baby Pokemon were introduced into the game fairly recently and I seem to have accumulated a large number of these. If that doesn't tell you that I'm gonna make a good dad, I don't know what would. You know guys, I really think I'm ready to raise a kid. I mean, I walked a 100% EV for more than 10 kilometers. We laughed and played and hung out together for that whole journey. And then I evolved her into an espion and watched like any caring father would as she was powered up to near mythic levels, ready to go out into the big wide world herself and take down gyms. This all seems like it's related to real life parenthood. Cause you know, I think I already have a healthy hobby for my unborn son. Yep, didn't mention, but it's a boy. I already have a healthy hobby for him to get into. He's gonna be born into a family of Pokemon trainers. Well, a family of me as a Pokemon trainer and my wife who kind of used to play a bit, but now hates the game so much, but forget about that. He will be able to continue the family business of catching Pokemon and even making stupid YouTube videos like this one or some of my previous offerings. What a time to be alive. And you know, by the time my son is actually old enough to play Pokemon Go, Niantic might have even fixed the game and introduced player versus player battles and trading. What a time that will be. Although it's probably not gonna be for a few years yet, so I'm not holding my breath on that one. Some people might say that nothing prepares you for getting woken up in the middle of the night to change a nappy. A nappy, that's a diaper for my American viewers. But I've been known to get out of bed in the middle of the night to go and catch a Blastoise or whatever Pokemon was just up the road that I had to get dressed for and go out into the freezing cold or the rain or both. So I'm well prepared for disruptions to my sleeping habits. I've got that one locked down already. Plus, I know exactly what to feed a baby to. Raspberries for breakfast, pineapple berries for lunch, and nana berries for dinner, sorted. Most of all though, if Pokemon Go has taught me one thing, it's that the game and life in general are what you make it, and that's exactly what I'm gonna teach my kids. So that's it for this episode. It was just a little short one for me to ramble and throw some random slides together and to basically announce that I'm going to be having a mother freaking baby and I'm really not prepared for it yet, but it's happening and I got to deal with it. What this means for my future Pokemon Go habits, I can't tell you, but I can imagine that I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of time to really play the game other than possibly on the way to work during lunch times, those kind of things. But, but I think my days of having long, proper mega hunts may be coming to an end, which is a bit sad, but you know, this is real life now. I've got some shit to deal with, but I do enjoy making these videos and hope that I will be able to continue making them in the future. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I'm sure there will be more baby related ramblings coming in the future. Please don't forget to subscribe. It would really mean a lot if you could just hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you again soon. Peace out.